Now to that breaking news, the body of a missing man discovered after a deadly canoeing accident. It's a double tragedy for a local family after the canoe carrying five people sank. One woman was found dead last night. The body of one of her sons was recovered this afternoon. Well, she's Greg Fox is live in Marion County. And Greg, do we know how the canoe tipped over? Uh, we don't know how the canoe tipped over yet. They are still trying to figure that out. But we do know, and just learned a little while ago, that they have recovered the canoe. It's a 16-foot fiberglass canoe with two bench seats. And uh, they were using it for just really a brief jaunt there on the lake here in the Ocala National Forest. But that's when it turned into a tragedy. Kind of blank, I guess. Huh? You're not supposed to lose your... Don Gibson Sr. could hardly talk as he described what happened on Half Moon Lake near Silver Springs. As authorities searched the lake Monday, Gibson described what happened. Sunday night, his grandsons, two great granddaughters, and the mother of the two young men were in a canoe that suddenly began taking on water and tipped over. A man in a boat nearby helped rescue David Gibson and two girls, age five and seven. From what I understand, there's some good Samaritans across the lake that heard some yelling. And they come over to investigate with their vessel and was able to assist with the uh, rescue of the um, individuals in the water. He also pulled the girl's 51 year old grandmother, Lisa Gibson, from the lake, but it was too late to save her. David's brother, the girl's dad, is Todd Gibson. His body was recovered today. His family says he acted heroically to make sure his two daughters stayed afloat until rescued. They kept them afloat until David swam to shore. And then David turned around and saw him out there struggling and went back and got the two girls from him. And that's the last that David saw of him. He would have fought till the last, his last breath. At around 1.30 in the afternoon, authorities retrieved Todd Gibson's body from the lake. And just a short while ago, we received photos of Todd Gibson's two daughters, Mackenzie and Nira Gibson. Again, both of them were in the canoe, but they survived this canoe accident. Uh, the dirt road behind me leads down to uh, Half Moon Lake, and uh, vehicles have been uh, going in and out all day, but primarily the vehicles uh, are going to be coming out in the next little while as the family members are provided all the information that uh, the Florida Fish and Game Officers and the Sheriff's Office have regarding what happened with this uh, canoeing accident that ended with two deaths. We'll have much more on this coming up on West 2 News at 5. Live in Marion County, Greg Fox, West 2 News.